Hello, hello, welcome. Ascended Stars, Ali Jade here, and I'm doing your Gemini reading. Thank you so much for your patience. Today is the ninth, and uh, we are looking into the Oracle spread first, and then we're going to tap into some love. And I just want to let you know that this is April 9th. Yeah, I did tell you that, and I do swear, curse sometimes. It does slip out. And I tend to laugh at awkward moments, which to me, they're not awkward, but they might play off as awkward. I'm just channeling the messages. So sometimes they, I, my guides make me laugh and the messages make me laugh, um, but not towards you. Okay. And then um, what else? I'm looking at the themes, what you, you can expect. And we're going to do a tarot spread as well. So let's look at you, Gemini. You have, um, you're a big player because you have, the north node moving into your sign may 6 around there so um a lot of things are playing out for you guys okay so let's see the soul card wow success <laughs> nice nice gemini okay so i always i often refer to gemini as this um wonderful beautiful energy that you guys are very brilliant very smart in the things that you take interest in and you are folks who tend to be scientists um maybe you know very well educated or or you've educated yourself because you're great at research you know you do have to deal with um inquisitiveness curiosity and uh you're mercurial you're ruled by mercury so um what was the point of this yes my 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 theory for you gemini your superpower is that you can take information that's complex or are uh difficult for the layman to really address at face value but you have done your research you have been able to digest it uh in your thought forms and then you're able to reverge regurgitate this information to others in a way that they actually understand it really well and that is like a superpower you guys have okay um okay so that's the way i think of gemini basically and i know that there is no greater goal than to love so here we have um you know your energy of love that's that your template for the next two and a half years is going to play out with the energy of how you love how you've loved how you've been loved what you've experienced with love it's going to be a beautiful amazing journey because you guys are about love and during these times we need to remember that and i think that's amazing so that's a great energy to start with okay um you you've had to fail before you've succeeded unfortunately so that's a truth that um cannot be denied and then let's look at this other um oracle here spread that we have for you the moon energy and the moon is uh your sister sign of libra we just had it seventh eighth and now we're uh on the journey from here to the new moon in taurus and this looks like a full moon so it's just going to be really emotional i think for you from here to the 22nd is the taurus full moon of this month uh april so i just feel like this is the mother energy the nurturing energy as well and we are ruled by our emotions so you're uh an air sign where you're very logical and I think your advantage will be that you will be able to um, separate yourself from your emotions or you or you're coming to this place where you can separate yourself from the emotions because we've, we're leaving cancer we're leaving the moon energy so you've been bogged down with all this emotional guck but now we're going into your energy and and we're going straight into it you know there is the mercury is going direct every you know right now we are in a venus shadow energy but starting today but from but that's not going to really affect us by the time so i think that you're going to be feeling very clear-headed on the way out of this um journey here let's get this going then we have celebration so this is a time to celebrate because you've 
earned your peace. You've been working towards your peace here. Um, I know I've seen you, Gemini's. You've not have not had the easiest go of it lately. <laughs> in during the season of, of Cancer, um, it's your twelfth house. You know, Cancer is your twelfth house. So these last two years, it's probably uh, brought up things that emotionally have stumbled you. But now you're going to go into your energy, the North Node in Gemini and where we got the ai alive right now we got everything is internet based everything is connecting through intellectual thought you know thinking before you speak so i just think it's going to be very good heaven on earth here we go we got heaven on earth you're here to help bring in the template heaven on earth you represent love jolliness flirty teenagers trends things that people are your social your local neighborhood we need to as as leaders in our communities now we need to be more active and hands-on in our local neighborhood so um so then the neighborhood will improve you know who knows the neighborhood better than the people who've lived in there live it see it at, on a daily basis right so i don't know where i can put this card it seems a little bit oh here we go all right so then we have a message from afar so you'll be reminiscing about the past, okay? You'll be thinking about passions that you had in the past, things that used to bring you to life, that made you feel good, that were uh, the love, the love. We're looking, we're thinking, we're thinking about success with love, success in love. I mean, so yeah, so this is an energy of you really getting passionate and how you want to move forward with this energy there's something in your there's some passion that that lays dormant that you're going to be tapping into maybe you've played it small because of these emotions that have watered you down but you're going to dry off and you're going to dry so much it's going to become hot sparks can happen you might be a piece you might be a peace, somebody, you know, with the peace, you might be someone who comes in at the right time, at the right precise moment when things get heated up, boom, you come in and you bring in that missing peace that's undeniable, which accomplishes your success. All right, let's keep going with the oracle. We have a burden, okay? We have burden. So there's a heavy burden that lays on your shoulders this month. We have the eagle. So you have to look at things from a higher perspective, okay? Because you're looking at things perhaps too small. You do rule local neighborhood, but um, your polarity of Sagittarius rules uh, long journeys, you know, a higher perspective, long expansiveness. So that could be something that you need to dive into a little more um, in the next coming months. But it's a burden because you're, you know, you're still kind of thinking, trying to acclimate yourself to this energy. But you got to think ahead. You have to be forward thinking, and that might be the challenge for you right now because you're just maybe on survival mode, like most of us. The fiery fairy, creative action, optimism. Oh, I forgot to say connection to the angelic realm. Oh, that's beautiful. That's very important. Okay, so you might be guided. The burden might be that you know what you have to do to bring peace, okay? But you're quite emotional. But you know where it's going to get you ultimately. Where you want to be, heaven on earth, the ultimate place, your goal, your, your sight on the prize. Passion can drive you there. It, it's not going to... Um, hinder you passion is there to help you but you this could be a download from spirit where you know what you have to do but you haven't done it in a long time like this could be energy where you knew you had to do something way back when or you should have done it a while back and you, and and the burden is you didn't do it okay so um to bring you peace you have to do it you have to you have to go ahead and move to this inclination this inspiration and I think the emotions hasn't, you know, you've been dealing with so much emotions and things in your life that you haven't been able to do that. But now we have two energies here of passion, of moving forward, the fiery fairy, okay? Um, 
it means that you know think blocks have been removed i don't see like i feel like blocks have been removed obstacles have are not no longer there to hinder you you have no excuse anymore so the only um excuse you have is your lack of passion and your lack of creativity and your lack of optimism nothing is stopping you is what i pick up success Nothing is stopping you. Emotions are, are, are falling to the, the side that used to hinder you. And it's time to celebrate. Because you're getting information from the angelic realm here. You're getting mercurial. See, the, the thing about Mercury is Mercury is allowed to go up into the heavens. Uranus, the highest, the higher octave is Uranus is higher than, than Mercury. So it can go up there and have conversations with these heavenly creatures and beings angelic realms think about mercury though it's so small it also can go into the underground it also you know you, you're great detectives you can find information where nobody else found it so you're you're capable of uh, so it can go into the underground it can go um into the underbelly the underworld plutonian energy uh it, it's the only in greek mythology it's the only uh because mercury is 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 a hybrid it's male and female so uh it's the only living well i don't know if it's living but mythological creature that can go very high and very low and stay in the realms of earth as well so I, I, if you get downloads and you're not listening to them you won't be able to celebrate because you're not listening to the higher self to the higher beings you're you're maybe logically saying oh no that's not possible or you're trying to rationalize it and um with with all that's happening i don't think you have that option to really second guess yourself and i think spirit will completely clear that up for you but uh moving on that's that's the burdensome energy will you listen to this or will you uh forsake your heavenly realm here it's a burden to get to that place of heaven but it it does it does um free you okay let's move into the next the next energies okay we have angel of love which I remember this came out when I was pulling the cards and it came up right. So here you have your possibility for love, but you have to trust. You have to believe in it. You have to go past the burden, right? This beautiful energy here. So angel of love. We have angel of balance and it came in upside down. So this final month, I think before the, um, the North Node goes into Gemini in May, your key your your challenge will be to feel balanced to feel like you have everything of course we just had this libra full moon and the the main um theme is balance so it makes sense that this would come in as well right now but guess what we got the storm upside down so to me this represents that this emotional tornado or hurricane that came into your life probably a lot of this cancerian energy brought it it's your 12th house endings and beginnings um i think you've come to full completion this month you're going to see you've come into a full completion and i feel like this is also reiterating there are no blocks you will own, you emotionally are going to be your own block okay um and this month it's gonna maybe reveal that to you okay so let's get into the tarot and and see what general readings we what general information we have to give you uh regarding the month of april and i pull i do them i do those here just not prior pulling i'm gonna do them with you as you watch the video and I'm just shuffling a couple times. All right, let's see what we have for you, Gemini. What say you about Gemini's energy moving forward from April 9th, the month of April? Thank you, Spirit. All right, so the first card up 
is clarity, full on clarity, okay? So this is cutting ties from things that don't serve you. This is being illuminated, downloads of clarity, vision, um, having the desire to communicate, to uh, speak truths, having the courage, having the um, confidence. I'm picking up confidence very strong with you now, okay, that I haven't picked up before. So you're, you're coming into a new confidence, Gemini. You're coming into the now you're thinking differently and you're acting differently because this this the way that you're thinking now okay wonderful eight of cups okay this month you're still holding on probably to some beliefs that don't serve you okay we have this is um the mind this is what you would rule the air energy okay ace of swords but we have the eight of cups reversed okay so this is um refusing to walk away refusing to walk away you still have to empty your cups you still have a lot you still have a little bit more purging and i think it's the emotional realm where um i think maybe you need to validate your passion like you need to um not validate maybe that's not the right word or maybe you need to feel validation for your passion. There's something about valid, like you want to be, so you want to feel valid in what you're doing. And I don't know why that is, but that's, you're stuck on some, maybe you're stuck on other people's opinions, okay? Maybe you're stuck on what your brother and sister think because you guys rule siblings your cousins okay you're, you're somebody who's like your aunt your brother your sister your aunt, uncle something like that maybe um their beliefs are very different than yours and you're emotionally tied to that and it's very difficult for you to be your, on your own and stand on your own but you might be coming to that you might be getting enlightened on that but you can't walk away oh my goodness Okay, some of these, oh, this is the deck. All right, well, I picked the deck where some of them are upright and some of them are not. All right, we'll keep going. Nine of Swords. Upside down. So the way, the way I feel about this is what used to really bother you is not bothering you as much, but it still bothers you. But because you're still contingent on what other people think is what I pick up. Like, I still feel like it's hard for you to not abandon and say, oh, fuck it. I don't care what they think. Like, you could... <laughs> you could place a lot of value on how your family sees you. And then we have the six of pentacles upside down. I'm gonna have to get clarity on that. So let me just um, pull some Sibyllas because this is just saying that you don't feel like giving this month. You don't feel like ex extending yourself. Um, you're very introverted. You're uh, thinking about your money. You're thinking of less, like um, I don't have enough kind of energy. I don't have enough. I don't have enough to survive. I don't have enough for my rent. I don't have enough for the things I want to do. Oh, this is what it is. Oh, okay. All right. So then we got to the, we cracked down to the bottom of it. So, Six of Pentacles, feeling unbalanced, feeling like you don't have enough, sweetheart energy. Despair and prison. So with this energy here,
in a way, what it tells me is that you don't think you're good enough for that person that you really are romantic. You feel romantic feelings for. And that, you know, that you feel that this is an energy that you're you're working towards fixing right now. You're working towards healing. And um, this is, could be this emotional storm that's based on, on romance. It's a romantic thing that... Um, For you, Gemini, you have to have your own money, your own uh, way of, of making money and, and surviving and being and and um, and right now there's so much things that are not clear that you're having a hard time to, to moving on. You're having a hard time. Listen to the ambulance, my God. Sorry about that. Hold on. Your, your challenge is, is to feel that you are enough, that you are enough, that uh, who you are is not based on what you have, okay, because that's what this card is saying. I know that there is no greater goal than to love, and maybe you've placed love with um, monetary goods. That could be one of these things. Angel of love came in right side up, not upside down. So you're here to gain value on, on how you love, who how you've loved, who you've loved. This is a whole thing on love right now for you. Like you guys are really thinking about partnership and love. So let's look at the uh, love. Let's look at love. <laughs> All right. So we have for you, we have clearly decide that you want what you want so that it comes to you now. That's a good, good, good advice. Ownership again. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. Okay, so this is a little bit of that, you know, putting yourself over the um, coals energy to me that you're being a little rough on yourself on on uh, the relationships, who you are. Okay, every relationship you, uh, you've you had makes you who you are today. Whoever, it, however that ended, good or bad, it makes you the person you are today. And the person you are today is a lovable person. But that's not for me to say, it's for you to take ownership of. So we have that energy, which I don't know where to put, and then individuality. So you're standing apart. This has to do probably with family, okay, with family members. Um, sorry about the glare. Let's see if we can get it in focus. Let's see, I have to put my finger. There we go. Oh, it came in. Okay, so individuality. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. That's definitely a very uh, Gemini trait, you know, um, I often mention, you know, who are who's Gemini? We have, of course, our most famous Marilyn Monroe and fun, flirty, and sexy. We have our very talented Johnny Depp. And um, I was reading up on him on how how his wife had uh, mis accused him wrongly of, of beating her, and of course that was because of the money and all, all that that you know he comes with a lot of money and fame and nor notoriety and and um his crazy behavior kind of explains why he was acting crazy now <laughs> because he was heartbroken like somebody doing that to you is is, is um, astonishing so those are very famous gemini's we have that have gone through a lot of issues okay um and and you, not to say that you that every gemini has but you're on that road right now where if you've had an easy life, I don't think it's going to stay easy. I think this is all challenging for everybody. So we're talking about soulmate energy for you, okay? Somebody here that you really treasure, you really love, um, and you're not letting go of, and you have a psychic, you have a psychic connection with them as well. And expansion. So Jupiter's here um, trying to expand this, trying to make it, so it can work out for you, so it can, um, your heart can open up to it. 
but what's stopping it and hindering it is guilt is guilt okay so let's go ahead and take a look at these energies i'm going to use just the um oopsies i'm just going to use you know rider weight deck and see what we have for you regarding these energies regarding love came out <laughs> all right the, everything came out everything i needed just i'll take them take them all right so let's see first card up is the king of cups so learning to be mature learning to understand somebody's emotions this guy is a preacher teacher a counselor and he uh is very understanding he's very mature he could hear horrific things about your personal life he won't go out and say it to anybody you know he's a king he's he's a decent person he's empathic he's understanding he's kind he's giving he's very loving this is scorpio cancer or pisces so emotions he can represent to me two things in a way with your reading he could represent somebody who um you're very connected psychically with and you're emotionally bonded with them okay but this guy lacks logic like not to say that he's not logical but his emotions can um, let's see what else we have okay so you You've had a broken heart in the past regarding someone who you were psychically connected with, emotionally bonded with, emotionally, or you emotionally bonded with them, okay? And you still see them as your the love of your life. You, they still light your fire, you know? They still um, are the one that you're dreaming of. They're still the one in your heart. Now, this person may be having money issues, or you may be having money issues, or self-value issues. Self-value issues. Pentacle. Okay, and moving forward. What kind of energy can we expect for you and this person moving forward? I'm going to use the Len Gypsy Lenormand. To let you know what kind of energy is coming forth the sweetheart energy so this person does see you as a um, someone very special someone that they're very attracted to but there's something about they have to maybe maybe they have another partner maybe they have another partner because we have a one and four okay this is a five so this is about shifting this is a catalytic energy that means that um, it, it can't really remain the same okay so they they have viewed you as somebody romantic somebody special somebody that they are um, turned on by but this person hasn't been forthright they haven't been honest they haven't been telling you the truth um, they maybe wanted something from you that, or maybe they already got something from you I don't know or they're good looking to get something from you the what they want is maybe love but they they're not going about it the right way okay because this is not really going about it the right way but what i pick up is that this person has someone else they see you romantically and everything and you could be the dream come true partner but they don't um put you number one you see they don't put you number one and the four we have four twice four of pentacles represents the heart to me it's the in their heart so they don't put you number one in their heart okay is what I, I i translate that to and um this is the four of wands which came up in your reading so you may not even have a home with them you may be, you know these are separate 
you you may be in different places and you know this person you might be sit you might be alone while they're with someone in their home and they're not putting you as number one and and so this is um this is energy nobody wants right nobody wants that so this is this is somebody's story that's coming out here i don't know who but this is the story that's coming out for you okay and this may not resonate with everybody but uh, i'm just giving the story that plays out within the cards that are dealt all right so let's uh see what else we have regarding this story but we also have uh no illumination this is the card that was picked for you uh, and it says traveling light and let, allow me to read it from the back as I hunk, hunker over and try to read it it says from hence you came then come again and journey in the sea of light and where do we come from our souls speak of color and love and hope and tenderness soothing rain on a summer evening silent snow in the deepest night but our minds sometimes pursue our earthly path disconnected from the hugeness of a bigger life now is the time to open yourself to the heartbeat of the universe take that sacred lantern to light your way and explore the path and power of connectedness and know that life continues into eternity beautiful 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 Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do your special card reading of um, of uh, the, of what I what I deem here as um, the Gaia Dreams of Gaia deck, and let's see if I can see it barely. Okay, Dreams of Gaia deck, and I already um, I marked these particular cards and gave them my own meanings. This one, can you see it? Oh God, let's see. Let's see if I can make it go higher, darling. Sorry about that. Okay, can you see it? Okay, let's see if I can make it clear. Okay, so this is your card, and it's really having a hard time focusing on it, but I gave it its own, I gave my poetry to the meaning. So let's start. I don't have a date of when I wrote this, because typically I'll tell the date in case it's significant. But um, what it says is, I can't resign to letting him be lost. So much running, no quality living, knowing he wants to numb the whole, numb the pain, numb the past. And he runs from me. He plays me, he hurts, and seeks to hurt me too. But I know the enemy has him, and I pray, I pray the Lord lift him, protect him, keep him from drowning among the false the fake and the frustrated and then there is and when there is no love for me there is love for my music sound vibe for life music never disappoints New music soothes and music heals so this is your card that i picked for you guys um so i feel like for for you you guys have to do your own work on yourselves and let your loved ones do their work on themselves so that's the energy that i pick up and then i picked also um a card by uh this is the yogananda yogananda at uh, the self-realization center so this says efficiency that leads to success is developed through concentration and meditation the unlimited creative principle within you is the source of all art and wisdom. When you want to create something important, sit quietly and meditate deeply upon it. You will be guided by the creative spirit, but you should also exercise determination in accomplishing your objective. Awaken initiative, which is the creative faculty within you. A spark from the divine creator, you must do something which will show that God creative principle is active within you. With unflinching steadiness, go forward on your path, knowing that the infinite power sustains you. So 
when I when I taught when I um, wrote about music and disappointment in someone, it's because music was the only thing that was inspiring me to get away from a negative situation. And not to say that you have a negative situation, it's just that we want to be the light. Like this 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 reminds me, we want to be the fire, the fire, um, the fire flame, the light. Okay, we want to be the fire that people see in the dark. So that's the energy I pick up. Like you have to work on your light to make it brighter. And that's by chiseling all the things that you're scared of, all the things, all the fears, attachments, all the judgments. Um, and you have to like light up your own light. You have to be your own light. So if, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I think I made it brighter now. I think I managed to make it brighter. So let's see your Wisdom of Oracle cards. And you have new life because a new life is certainly coming for you. This is the wrapping up of an old life, wrapping up of the things that were hindering you and an emotional distance is what I pick up. And I feel you're gonna be getting emotionally connected with others. But first you have to connect, tap into you first and, and tap into that creativity that you have. And then we have round and round, OMG. Wow, I just, I, I gotta read that. Let's see what we have for that. I wanna read round and round first. That's number 25, it's, it has to do with spirituality. Uh, where are we, 25? I did not tag these. I, sh I should really start doing that. But here it is. Okay, here it is. All right. It says, round and round. The spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated. Cycles you are challenged to break. Revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, it says, the appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backward, the truth is that you are standing at a higher level, looking down into your circumstances. You will learn something, do something better, and break a cycle set up in the past. You actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom and lessons learned, which is beautiful because you do have a bird eyes view. And that's what they were trying to explain to you right over here with the eagle right you have a bird's eye view with the eagle that's insane so it's just like whenever you start feeling too overwhelmed emotionally um gemini just to separate yourself look at this from a bigger perspective this is not just on you this is a world uh, you know global international i don't know aerial universe um galactical <laughs> but you do have to tap into that energy okay so let's see with the new life which is number 39 and so this is a new life this is definitely a new life that's here for you and for you to take hold of here we go new life how beautiful so new life is birth of new ideas growth opportunities a breath of fresh air life renewing itself when spring awakens the world joy and excitement can be felt all around and in there in your very core blossoms burst from trees overnight birds return home and sing their glorious song and nature is full of promise miracles beckon on all of us this is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope for seeing your dreams come true. All is well in your world and you have the energy you need to feel renewed. Allow your heart to fill with enthusiasm. Let your light shine for this is a time of good fortune. So just change your perspective, um, You know, redirect your energy every time you're feeling down and see that you are manifesting a new life and you're just purging and cracking that shell getting out of that egg and coming out this new chip which is still vulnerable and still um susceptible right to the elements but be gentle on yourself 
don't judge yourself harshly from the way from where you you know from like how maybe you've done in the past or however that may be for you so i'm going to pick some angel cards too just because um you guys are heading into some amazing territory but you will you are going into the angelic right you have angelic access here so i want to definitely tap into that for you and i'm being guided to also pick the um angel archangel deck too so what can we tell them for archangel deck okay prioritize Meritron, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. So this is important because you, you're going into the North Node. So you really have to know things might be just like rushing fast once that happens in May 6th. So you really have to focus on what it is you uh, want to accomplish. So they're telling you prioritize now the month of April and get aligned with that energy of how you want to, you know, manifest and, and make a difference in what you want to do. So that's beautiful energy. And then abundance is here for you. So, you know, again, we have that the music. So music could be very powerful for you right now or singing, humming. All of that is very uh, high vibrational. You got four manifestation. You will be manifesting. I I feel this. I know this. I could tell you one hundred percent. You will be manifesting during these times, during this um, season. We're counting on you. You guys are problem solvers. Okay, so you we are counting on you to manifest <laughs> and freedom. Yeah, you're gonna have to free yourself of what people think and how you know they judge you and how you think that you know that you're going to be outed or whatever you need to let that go because you will not be able to create and be authentic if you're held on by other people's beliefs and how they see you then you have intention i feel like you have really high divine angelic intention person angelic intention personally for many of you um I am being guided to tell you that yeah the angels are here if you're working for the light the white light beings the angels are definitely uplifting you and you will feel it especially when um may 6 comes you'll be you'll be feeling it so if you want to har har harness their energy though you can call on them but they're going to give you like a more boost like that that north node going in there is going to be like whatever you've been putting your intention in is going to manifest and bring you abundance so you have to be very careful what you're doing that's why they're asking you to prioritize okay i hope this has been helpful and um i'll leave you with this card things will be changing very soon in everything in your in your new reality very soon it's coming so prepare yourself and uh i wish you the best take care Give me a thumbs up or a like. Appreciate you. And we'll be talking soon. Hopefully.